for another installment of our road trip around the Malaysian Peninsula. When the Portuguese kicked the Sultan out of Malacca, the youngest son went to Johor and the eldest came here. He didn't put up the wonky water tower though. This was built in 1885 by Mr. Leung Chun Chong and it started to lean over four years later. And despite nearly being demolished in 1941, it's now become something of an attraction rather than a white elephant. Now, is this Pisa or is it Pisa Hut? Is it Tower Records or is it hmm, a layer cake? Now, you tell me. If one was to make another documentary similar to our one on the Sultans of Johor, we would start here. And the history would follow in a similar fashion with conflicts with the Portuguese, the Dutch, the Siamese and most importantly the Archanese. Who in effect took over here? Or was it Perak that took over Arche? Anyway, the royal lines merged. But the big difference here would be tin. The abundance of tin made Perak a prime target of the colonial powers and in the end the British won and took over. Like all good Englishmen, after enduring the tropical heat, we are now off into the highlands, specifically Janda Bike, the good divorcee. Apparently a local dignitary divorced his wife, but he then died and she came back to run the place and did well or something. met up again with our good friend Hannes in Jandabai and they come for lunch at Istana Lamuli which is a collection of very old traditional Malay uh, buildings brought here from Tambanu and these were Istana Istana palaces yeah where the royalty lived I think these were the complex, the female complexes. So the complexes were inhabited by the sultan's, I think, sister and daughters. So those are those three buildings over there. As this is a travel vlog, we have to show you some food. So here are the obligatory eating shots. We're nearly at the end of our Malaysian road trip. We will probably not manage the last video until we get home as our next stop is Kuala Lumpur where we shall do some shopping and meet up with my mate Assad. And having been strictly halal for 20 days, we could do with a good gin and tonic, which I am assured have already been lined up. Thank you so much. How about you do the welcome to gender by wine for the oh, video for tomorrow? Oh, right. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just say, welcome, welcome to, to gender by wine. Welcome to gender by wine. Welcome to gender by wine. Hello. <laughs> welcome to gender by wine. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Just look at the camera.
Yeah. Right. Thank you for coming here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Welcome to Gender Bay. Yeah. Right. I've got it several times now. So please subscribe to this channel so that you can see what happens next at facebook.com slash Lawrence and Helen.